Today I'm going to show you guys how you can design a game HUD or heads up display inside of Roblox Studio without using any kind of design software like Photoshop. Shop our unlimited access bundle to get all current and future assets. Check it out with the first link down below. Alright, so here we are inside of Studio. Let's just hop right into it. I don't even have an example. I'm just going to kind of uh free flow this so we're gonna go into starter gui we're gonna add a screen gui inside of starter we're gonna call this hud and then we want to add a frame we call this canvas i always start off my uis like this and we're going to uh give me a second we're gonna set the anchor to 0.5 and 0.5 like so we're gonna go fit parent remove background and hit scale and now inside of canvas, we're gonna add a frame. We're going to call this the currency. We're gonna set anchor, and then we're going to move this over to the left side, like so. I'm just kind of guessing the uh, sizing, but I'm going to make this red and change the transparency to 0.8. And this will be our container. Uh, because we're going to add a frame this will be our for example we call this our gold if our game has a gold currency we're gonna go fit parent and scale this down like so we're also gonna add a list layout and for this I'm gonna go corner and we go point one Actually, let me just go one. Why not? Uh, this is going to be, I'm gonna keep this white and you'll see why in a second. So we're gonna go Control C, Control Shift V to paste uh, this in itself. And then I'm gonna call this main. We're going to change the color for now. And then I'm going to resize this thing down. So we have a pseudo fake stroke thingy. It's kind of a bit thick. So let's just fix that very slightly. Bunch of trial and error. Um, that's okay, I think a bit more height. So like 0.9, possibly. It's better, yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, anyways, for main, we're going to change the color back to white because we're going to add a UI gradient right here and for this thing I think I'm trying to think of how hmm let me think what's going to work the best here um I think we go for like a gold and then possibly like dark um you guys will see in a second I'm trying to figure this out myself okay and I think um, let's see I'm trying to figure this out guys so negative 75 all right I'm gonna modify this color it's obviously too bright okay so we're gonna go for like I think this is pretty cool yeah, I'm just I'm probably just gonna keep this, but I think I'm gonna change the angle to 75. All right, that's cool. That's like a little orange beam gonna going down. And for this fake stroke, we're gonna add a gradient here as well. We're basically just gonna make this a bright, make it look all nice and stuff. Okay, so we kind of have like this. We could add a middle color make it all interesting we have some like shine to it like right here oh that's pretty cool okay we change the angle 45 yeah that's pretty nice not gonna lie um might just move this across the shine look at that that's pretty cool <laughs> okay Awesome. Okay, I'm trying to think what else we can do. 
Okay, gold, we're going to add image label. This will be your icon basically. All right, so here I'm just gonna have a very basic coin pile uh, icon. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste it in here. Background off and scale this. So now we have nice little coin here. And then uh, this needs to go in main actually. And um, I can go fast scale at a UI constraint here. You don't have to. Okay, so inside main, we're gonna add a text label. I'm gonna go anchor. Background, we're gonna go for color white. Change the font for Doka 1. And then we're gonna go for text scale right here. Just put anything you want. So like 50K. <laughs> I'm going to take the gradient of the stroke and paste it in here. So now we got this awesome text and it kind of looks like it's shining through, right? And also if we adjust this, we can kind of match it up better, right? So that's pretty cool. Look at that. Um, however, I do want to change this color. It's kind of, looks kind of weird. That's a little better. If you want, you can add a stroke to the text, like so. It's not gonna hurt, uh, looks pretty cool. And next, inside of, I'll say gold here, we're gonna add a frame, a corner. We make the corner one, zero. Okay, anchor. And then this is basically going to be your plus icon that will link to your shop, basically. Make this bigger. Oh yeah, that looks really good. I like that a lot. Um, so frame, same process. We're going to make a little fake, um, you know, I don't know why that was closed, but uh, we're gonna make a little fake stroke once again. I'm gonna have this a little thicker. It's a little bit too small. Okay, so uh, this will be our plus add icon. Anything you wanna call it, um, really up to you. Uh, so plus, we're gonna add a gradient and same process here. I'm gonna go for a nice little like green kind of color. Go for like a white here. Green, like so. We change the angle. Boom. I'm gonna modify this. We add extra points. Boom. Okay, I like that. Uh, this thing. I'm also gonna add a gradient uh, in here. I'm just gonna start off making these two points dark, so I can figure out how I wanna add the other stuff. So this will be green. Okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, change, the, change the rotation. All right, and copy and paste the text. Change the X alignment to center and go Plus, like so. I don't know why it's like this, like the sizing or something. I don't know. Okay, it's pretty cool. Um, we're going to change, gonna copy and paste the gradient in here and modify this. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Okay, now we have our gold currency. Okay, and now, uh, just move this like, I don't know, whatever, but this, um, we can control D on the gold. Let's make us a little copy for us. Let's make a little copy. And we're going to list layout 0.05 or 0.1. 
going to go vertical align by the center and right here uh change the value this will basically be your second currency if you want one uh you don't have to okay so here is my gem i'm gonna paste i'm just gonna place this right here where it belongs and now we're going to modify the gradient to match the blue so blue both ends right here blue and then a brighter shine there we go okay looks pretty good now we also have to modify the gradient of um, the main panel right here so this is quite simple boom looks pretty good and this side now it looks bad <laughs> all right this looks pretty cool we're gonna keep this um to make sure everything is scaled for example you can see right now it's like resizing improperly just make sure it's all on scale so let's check uh hit scale in here scale um text scale everything here scale uh, let's check in here click everything scale all right the text still has to be scaled these two scale now you can see it works amazingly um you can add a ui constraint on these buttons if you don't want it to resize like this all right thank you guys for watching anyways i will see you guys in the next